Oh, corpse. Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of the bluing video that we just did, or the bluing tank video that we just recorded earlier today. I was trying to break it up so that you guys didn't have such a long video to watch, but the next part that we got to do is going to be freaking crazy. Not really, just going to be really tedious. Um, if you look here, yellow, I've got two 48 inch long pieces of black iron pipe, three quarter variety. And I've got a couple street nineties, a T, a nipple with a venturi and a pr high pressure hose. There's also a couple caps that I have. Listed. Hold on. You come with me. We've got to go find them. There they are. Okay. So what I need to do with this is I need to make it so that it can hang underneath that tank. Now, the width of those legs is only about six and a half inches, so I'm going to have to uh, get it in a configuration that uh, accommodates that, but let's get into it. Originally, whenever I devised this build, I was thinking a T, two street 90s, Jeez, if this was a firearm, I'd be getting in a lot of trouble. No adding suppressors or motor brakes or nothing like that. So two street 90s like this, right? With two black iron pipe threaded onto the end of that, like this. But that will not fit inside of this bluing tank. Now, I'm not a plumber or somebody who runs gas lines for a living. I'm under the impression that as long as the air and fuel is mixed, then I don't have to have exact the same exactly the same lengths of pipe for it to run properly now i might be wrong this is all just a big um test we're going to try it out see what happens but after trying it out with the tank what i think i'm going to end up doing is i'm actually going to still use the t but only one street 90 right and it still gives me the same length which is ideal like that oh the only thing I'm worried about here is that the gas is going to have to travel an extra four inches on this side, which is better for mixture, but not ideal if you're trying to equalize pressure, but it should be fine. should be fine. So, just to give me an idea here. Let me see if I can get it in the can. There we go. Like that. Yeah. Maybe turn the camera. Might make things a little easier. Hello. Don't cross right it because then you'll be upset. You'll be so mad. Oh my god, what is wrong with the brain today? Let's just lay it. Yep. 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 Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on here? Okay. Go we'll like this, right in front of the camera. I know how to start treads. I've done it before, once or twice in my life. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that there's caps on the end of these pipes, right? So you've got your pipe here. I need Venturi. I've also got a nipple somewhere. If we're being truthful, I'm not sure if this is even going to work yet. It might, it's possible. So we're gonna give it a shot right now, together. Here we go. Woo, baby. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So that threads into there. And then we've got our high pressure hose. Yeah. And it's not high pressure, but high air pressure hose. Here we go, yep, 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 here we go. And we can go like this. Ready? Here we go. So here's the problem. Obviously, I already have it all thought up in my brain, exactly how it's gonna go, except one part, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, what I have to do to this is I have to drill it full of holes. Um, and the size of the hole is really dependent on, hold on, one moment. That hole, oh, can you focus? I was gonna use a 16th inch drill bit and drill two sets of holes, but 
I did the math and it was going to be like 220 holes, which really wasn't, didn't sound great. So I figure if I drill one set of holes at 330 seconds of an inch, I'll only have to drill 100. And then later I can go back and widen them up a little bit. So that's what most of this video is going to end up being. It's going to be probably a lot of, you know, sped up video of, of drilling holes and then I'll slow it back down whenever we do the final assembly and we actually hang it in the blueing, underneath the blueing tank. So stick around. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, let's get into it. The most efficient way that we can do this, in my mind, right? We've got the drill press. And uh, granted, the uh, device here is turned the wrong way, so I'm going to have to quickly flip that around so that we can have a, uh, a streamline effect go where we can just I'm going to mark the pipe and I'm going to draw a straight line down it where I want all the holes to be and then I'm going to go through with tape measure every three quarters of an inch I'm going to mark a hole, mark a hole, mark a hole and we'll just get it underneath the drill press here just run it down run it down Hopefully I don't spend the next three hours drilling holes. I've never drilled into black pipe, but I've only got four drill bits, so hopefully it goes well. Quick tip. You need to mark this pipe with a straight line, but you don't know how to do it because it's round. So what you have to do is get a piece of angle iron, and all you do is you take it, set it up on there, and now you've got a nice flat straight edge. You can just take your marker. At least now, I have a good indication of exactly where I need to drill my holes. After about 40 holes, broke a drill bit. Pain in the ass. So that means you just put a new one in. That's why you buy extra, because you know as soon as you think you're in a groove, everything goes to hell. Make it One done, one to go. It only took me about ah, 12 minutes to drill all these holes, so let's get after another one here. If there's anything painful, it's just the amount of, you know, uh, oh, oh, bang, oh, 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 my hands, whatever, you know. pipes are all drilled. Now all I have to do is assemble it. So the idea is going to be that I'm going to use some kind of sealant on the threads and get it close as I possibly can. Now being that this is an auto garage, I'm going to use some Permatex thread sealant, high temperature. It'll probably work just fine. There's a lot of people who don't even put anything on these. And 
This is just going to be for a test run anyway, so I'm really not all too concerned about it. But the only other thing that I have to do after we get this put together is I've got to get it hung. And oddly enough, black iron hangers are like $12 a piece. But these are only like two bucks. So I got four of these. We're going to grind them down, drill a couple holes inside the angle iron frame, and then we're just going to weld these in place and grind it smooth, and they're going to hang nicely underneath there. So what I need to do now, it's all together, right? Well, except for the end caps, and there's a reason for that. So it's all together. What I need to do is I need to measure the center portions of these two pipes here as they come out so that I can come over here, Hello. right into this angle iron here. I need to drill two holes, one on, two on each side, so that I can center my eyelets so I can hang the pipe in here. And I think it'll, it'll do pretty well, so long as I'm just able to get a good measurement here. Basically, all I did was drilled four holes and ground these hooks down to the point where they will fit inside of the holes. Oh my god, imagine. Literally saved me 50 bucks on this build. So, what I'm thinking now, we're going to finish this up tonight. We're going to get the pipe hanging in here and uh, just test fit everything. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to clean up all my bubble gum welds, spray paint everything, and just doctor it all up. Maybe put some wood on here, get the propane tank in here, get everything fired up and running. So I guess it's going to be a three video part, three part, three, three, three video part series. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been like, you know, it's been like nine hours. Been hard at it. It's just the way things go whenever you don't have too much of a blueprint except for like an image in your head of how you want it to go. So if you want this hang out, I'm going to finish up building this in place and uh, yeah, should be pretty good. This is still really hot, by the way, but just for the hell of it, let's see if these pipes fit. I know those other ones jumped down there are pretty damn tight. Wow, okay. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I would say they're perfectly gapped. Might have to touch that one a little bit, but there's really no weight here. Oh, damn, that looks nice. And there you have it guys, what was originally supposed to be a one day, one video build is going to turn into three. Tomorrow we're going to come in and uh, get everything cleaned up and painted all up. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like this kind of content, drop me a like and a subscribe. If you don't like it, drop me a dislike. Tell me how I can make it better. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.